I have an iPhone 7 here with a short on VDD main. No power iPhone 7. And this is the free spray that I use. It's called Paratronics. It's 10 ounces. Costs about 9 bucks. Alright, so we've done a few of these already and uh, there are some common ones that fail. So I'm going to look at those first and and um, we'll go from there, alright? Looking at the board here, um, the one common one is C1907. That's that's the one that I've seen fail before, and then there's there's a few on the back side as well that fail. So I'm gonna check C1907 first, and then go to the back side and see, check some more. Okay, so definitely a short on v VDD main. Um, uh, all right, so let's see. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spray this sucker. Actually. We're gonna hook up our DC power supply, sir. So DC power supply goes to um, goes to uh, four volts, two amps. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna connect my ground here, just to the sim tray area, and then I'm gonna get a little pin clip onto my red lead, my positive lead. So so all this is VDD main. So I'm just I'm probably just gonna do it to this one, um, and then actually, you know what? I'll do another side. Just so that I can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it in these two. Okay, that way I'll see if which one blows, which one gets hot first. So the front two, we'll clear this up a little bit. Which one is it? Actually, this is. Okay, this is a different version of the board. Let me let me go to the other version. This is the Intel version. So VDD main. Oh, there's no VDD main over here. Okay. Um. So maybe I'll just do it to the top side here. But I won't be, really be able to see it very well. So. Hmm. I think that'd be okay. I'll just do it to the bottom here. That's fine. Um. Okay. So let's just get let's just get going here. Um. I'm just gonna spray these. I think I might build tail. I'm not sure if I'll build tail, but we'll see. So the board's still a little hot, that's why it's not really frosting well. But if I spray it enough, it'll really once the board gets cold, then it'll be good. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so I'm clipped on three oops, still too warm. I'm really looking at that second one right there, okay? Let's see if that Oh, that one actually got hot faster. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because all these caps are in a row, so when I inject voltage into it, they all get hot at the same time, so that's probably not a good idea. So I'm going to do it from the top here. Yeah, let's find out which one it is again. Um, so it's going to be one, two, three. Okay, so it's th so it is these three caps. I'm just going to inject voltage right there, all right? And then we'll, we'll look at those caps down there to see if we can find something. All right, so. Okay, so that's frosted. I'm gonna inject voltage. Uh, nope, it's still too hot. Okay, now it's kind of frosted. Okay, so now let's do it. So I'm gonna pump in. It's not really working. Weird. Why is it that when I do this, it doesn't work? Oh, there it goes. Now it's too late. Try it again. There it goes. It's that cap right there. Did you see that? <laughs> you gotta watch the video, CG. <laughs> it's the middle cap that was quick. Alright, I'll do it one more time, alright? And maybe I'll try to zoom in this time. Okay, so I'm gonna freeze it, and then I have to kind of look through my eye. Uh, uh. All right, so that's frosted. Oh, man, I, it's just kind of hard to do here because uh, I can't really. I think I have to zoom out, man. It's like I need to look through the microscope for both. All right, so focus on this area right here, okay?
Not working. There it goes. Dang it. See that? Butter. Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, fourth from the bottom, third from the top. So let's just test, see if our theory is correct by removing that, removing that, and then see see what happens. Okay. We need instant replay on here. I'm just going to use brute force to, to get this off and maybe a little bit of heat. I guess a little bit of heat will help too. I'll do that. Check this pretty well here. Let's do this. So I'm just going to use a little bit of heat really and really just more force than heat. You really just want to kind of get the um, epoxy that's holding these caps in place. There you go. That's good. I don't think you really need to worry about ripping the pads because these are both, they're all in a row so you can always attach it. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so now let's test this cap, make sure it is indeed shorted. which I hope it is. Yes, it is definitely shorted. Hold on. Is it shorted? Yes, definitely shorted. Now let's confirm. Let's see if we're getting the correct reading. 0.3 volts in diode mode. So yes, we have found our <sighs> finally easy one today. Well, I better boot it up first. Or I say it's easy, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back because that way I can test everything once I'm done with it. Because this that one was definitely bad. Hopefully that's the end of this phone. Uh, we've had some trouble today, man. Lots of charging issues that um, that are that that are that aren't TriStar. Um, yeah, unsolvable issues, man. That's why we charge so much for no power problems because some are some are okay, but there's the majority of them are just you just never know what you're gonna get with no power, you know. I mean, especially when people don't tell you that they threw it against the wall, you know. Yeah, those are the worst, man. When you, someone throws it against the wall and it's like it could be anywhere. It could be like I didn't even take them. But if people tell me they threw it against the wall, I say data only, son. So, most people, they're pretty smart though. They'll just be like, they'll be like, no power. <laughs> they, don't, they don't, no history of the device or anything like that. No power. Fix it. And then I'll ask them and they'll be like, oh yeah, I got run over by a car. <laughs> uh, got run over by a car and then a truck. A truck ran over it after that. Pretty standard procedure. Uh, looking for my cap here. Okay, uh, ten. Ah, <sighs> ten six point three. Ten microfarad, six point three volts. Jesus. That's the common cap across everything.
Don't even fit in this damn block, dude. I'm gonna have to. There it goes. Brute force, man. What you gotta do? I think what I'll do is just. Oh man, what happened there? No! Ugh. Okay. Okay, I think that's alright for now. Yeah, that should be fine. That's fine. Fine enough, man. Especially for a day like today. I should probably put some thermal paste on these things when I reassemble them. Because we wipe off all the thermal paste before we, uh, you know. Okay, so let's test it. Um, let's pray. Let's pray. That it works. I think it will. I think it'll work. Are we doing anything crazy with it? Got stuck in there. All right, the moment of truth. Everything is connected. It is taking point six nine amps on the ammeter, and we do get a screen here, which is good. Um, shit, hold on a second. It's all stuck, dude. Okay, so that's good. Make sure the battery's good. I think everything's gonna be good after this. All right, I think we are golden grams here. Let's make sure the touch works. Yes, yeah, that's good news. Uh, we're back in business, so uh, that's my. What just happened there? I think these battery connectors are a little bit finicky, man. Something's wrong with these battery connectors. So go ahead and, uh, hold on. Okay, so, uh, alright, I'm gonna end this video, alright? I, I gotta get back to other crap. Um, alright, so this video is done. Uh, pretty much good to go. Uh, BDD main short. Easy way of finding it. Easier way of finding it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's it. So if you're interested in learning how to do this repair or just learning more about micro soldering in general, you can go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then scroll down to the full curriculum here. This is our online course. You can do everything from the comfort of your own home or office. Click on buy at Udemy. We host our course at Udemy. There's three and a half hours of content and we're adding to it every few weeks or so and we cover everything from the basic building blocks of an iPhone logic board to how to use the XW tools to three of the most common iPhone problems which is touch IC disease, uh, no backlight and no power and then we go all the way down to data recovery so it's three and a half hours long and if you want to get a preview of some of the content in the course just click on this uh, play button up here at the top right and you can scroll down here and you can see we have a bunch of different sample videos and these are directly from the course so any questions just email support at microsolder.com thank you